Mm, what's up guys? This is the Broforman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play is the Kingdom of Bavaria. And in this episode, we are bringing destruction to the Iroquois capital at Cayuga. They still have a couple of armies to the west and one more territory uh, in Michigan, but for now... Oh, and also there in, in Algonquin territory, but for now, we will destroy the occupiers of this settlement on our way to overall victory. The irony is, um, I said in the last episode, this might be the last one. Even though I'm recording it right now, I don't know if it's the last episode, but you guys watching it after I've recorded it will know. Because the part may or may not be titled Finale, or some such. But let's see how we get on. I'm not going to uh, prejudge these things. If things go really well, then... Maybe it will be the last episode, but if we end up having to fight lots of engagements, then maybe not. But let us assume we are going to slowly advance towards the enemy with artillery support. My guards on one flank, all of my... Actually, no, that's always a bad idea. Put one cavalry on the other flank with my general. Rocket artillery up as far forward as it can get. See, it never ever places down... Prime plate on a formation, it never goes exactly where you where you placed it, it will decide actually, you know what, I'd rather go here to push cavalry forward and will the rockets fire I should get my howitzers to aim at the lancers get my foot artillery to aim at the lancers my howitzers to aim at these lancers Bodyguard is getting out of range. Here comes the rocket artillery. Let's run my line into position because they may be there may be more of them out here. Bill Jaeger, run forward. Get ready to fire. Put a volley. She's fired. Need to get over the crest of the hill. Too late, you already fired. Retarget. Hello. Bowman. Knock him out. Excellent. Infantry, form up, cavalry, get out on the flank, bingo, bring back your seat, actually no, keep you guys going on. Advance up the guards. Where's my Curacia? You guys go into the Native American Warriors, the general. Yeah, there we go. Advance. The glorious firepower of proper Western lines. Very good. Let's get a Grenadier Guard up here. My general break three, break three. Go after the bowmen to make sure they do route. Cursier, go after the warriors. They're trying to chase my general down. Grenadier guard, get ready to form up. I mean. There's a lot of them hiding somewhere. I 
Yeah, see, the bowmen came back because I didn't get a chance to shatter them. Curious the air. You guys all of you go after the garrison native bowmen. Where's the rest of them? Because they do exist. Very odd. They might be going after my guardsmen. Okay, there's some musketmen. I should form my line again. Okay, general, chase down the native troops. Heavy cavalry push forward. Actually, you guys go after them. You guys go after them. Foot artillery engage the musketmen. I mean, they are still here. Shattered, shattered, shattered. Aha! Bingo! Garrison Bowman. Bring all my cavalry back to safe, <laughs> back to safe distance. Rockets just there we go. <laughs> My cavalry go around to the rear of this formation. I mean bowmen, musketmen, bowmen. Warriors, bowmen. How is this? Just attack ground, just short, just ahead of my line. Keep lobbing shells in. These fellows can't put up with this sort of firepower. It does sound cool when they're all running. Yeah, there they go. Put artillery, engage the bowmen. Some of my some of my danger close shots hit my marines. Rockets in. Rocket ceasefire. How oh, it's a ceasefire. Aha! More of them. Bunch of bow units. Slowly push up. Not a great position, but I'll take it. There you go, we've sliced through one bow unit, shatter them onto the next unit, shatter them, get my artillery to re-engage. That's another unit of bowmen. Oh, yeah, the massed artillery, they don't like that. The unit of Crossier to go straight onto that bow unit. Bow Jaeger, pursue. Crossier, cut across. That they broke as well. You men are going to fall to our musket fire. Yeah, there they go. Brave fellows. However, Western firepower. It is too much for them to bear. Excellent. So let's destroy their government building and replace it with a good, true Catholic one. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Get rid of the meeting hall. 
And I imagine that's this army probably done for the campaign. Because they wouldn't be able to push out. You're replenishing. You probably can't leave your own territory for a while. Minus 18. I'll exempt you from tax just to try and speed your development up a bit. Minus one. You guys can manage. So let's get some more troops pushing towards Plain Hills Nations. We may as well just declare war on them. Because you're... Uh, you are... Minus one, that's okay. You probably can't leave. The native troops are the most... Always the ones that are most resilient to uh, change. So you men push up. Give everyone orders just to push up to the Black Hills. Because we're probably not going to... I know we will need them um, against Cherokee. Because we've got Savannah to take. We've got this small force here that needs to be destroyed. Then we need to push on their capital. So let's push you to here. No, Philadelphia's grumpy. So Franz Lauter may not get involved. Actually, let's recruit a turn's worth of Dragoons. Oh, that's everyone in Philadelphia recruited. There's only 200 of them left. We'll exempt them from tax. We don't need the money. Minus three, I think. Okay, let's recruit some extra militia at Annapolis. So new men can come to the north here. You're already on your way to Detroit. You're within range of Niagara. Okay, let's hit it. Let's get the. Let's get some more. Um, more pressure onto the Iroquois before we declare on the Cherokee. Although we most assuredly will. Yep, Niagara is exposed. They're going to spend or waste time raiding. I have no intention of. No intention of. Uh, what's the word? I can't think of the word. We're not going to take part in their delusion that that is something worth doing. Agree. There we go. Natural causes. One of our gentlemen is fallen. Workers on strike in Pennsylvania, but don't worry, the dragoons have quelled the unrest. So then, magistrate, church school. Can't help it. I like upgrading things. Upgraded, upgraded, upgraded. Caracas. All these mines in Bogota. Yeah, we really blitzed through this area quite quickly, didn't we? You're going to go up to Upper Louisiana. Oh, there's a cherry. There's a Iroquois soldier. The unit of musketmen don't care about them. That's going to be. That's an order resolve for darn sure. Right, Excellent. I sent both two armies on route. You men get to here. Same as you. Let's move on to Niagara. Again, lots of bowmen. So, lots of bowmen, so our heavy cavalry will smash through them pretty comprehensively. Then, I think this turn, this will be the turn that we attack Cherokee, but I think, I don't know, we could end it this turn. It'll just be a super turn, a super episode rather, which is probably fair enough. By the time we get to an hour, we're going to be within spitting distance of the end anyway. Let's see, so I've got my Fusiliers. They're going to need a little bit of extra help. I 
but they're not going to get it. They have to stand on their own two feet while the flanks smash in. Artillery, fire, whatever you desire. To be honest, actually, it looks like they're just going to come right at us. Which is their prerogative. Where are you hiding? Let's get one howitzer unit to focus on quick climbing their cavalry. The fuse this could place stakes, but I don't think it's going to be necessary. No, oh, they're more interested in my skirmishes and stuff, it would appear. There we go, starting to take... Oh, they've only lost 10 men, they're already wavering. God, good God alive. My skirmishes may not have a much to do, but they will protect the flank. Maybe push my cavalry forward ahead of my formation. Spread this light infantry out a little bit. Somewhere there's going to be a big block of enemy infantry. Skirmishes are opening fire. The grenadier guards are just <laughs> firing volleys. Send in my dragoons. That bowman unit routed, I didn't even know it was there. Push towards the chief's bodyguard with my cuirassier. Bowman. a bunch of them because just, they've just routed through our position. Uh, retreat from the general bodyguard. Howitzers, quick climb. Let's recover my general and my cavalry over here. Shattered, 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 good. Curacier, go for the Chief's Bodyguard, Val Dragoons. Go after that native bow unit. Lots of shattered units. The enemy Chief is dead. Cover my cavalry. Okay, bring my cavalry back down here. S surge one part of my line forward. The native warriors are still pushing forward. Push forward, Curacier. Smash him. General, smash the na that yet native unit. General can shatter that one. That's another unit broken. Show sure my how it's just not firing at all. So this is exactly why I'm not overly fussed about playing the native factions. But I shall give it a go. Oh, I 
Let's just end it there. That's just... There, yeah, they just collapsed. Absolutely collapsed. Niagara is ours. Let's not... Eh, not knock down buildings. You men replenish. Wait, do we only have... We only lost units in... We lost one Fusilier and we lost... How many men are in a full unit? Five Dragoons. Nice. Okay. Okay, I think now is the time just to declare war on the Cherokee. So you men put Savannah under siege because they've got lots of warriors. You're waiting for reinforcements from somewhere. Howitzers, particularly. Balthazar Father. Attack Tecumseh. Got lots of native warriors. But we got a boodles of firepower. That's Tecumseh. Within spitting distance of the last two Cherokee territories, we are pushing the Plains Nations peoples. I think this may well be GG. Without supplies, no army is brave. He's been playing Hearts of Iron 4. Uh, hmm. Concerned about where their reinforcements are going to come in from. Just form up. Drop our line. Split up our cavalry. Our general will get involved. Okay, good. Their reinforcements are coming in from behind. Or well, behind them. This poor mounted tribal gunner unit. There's their mighty reinforcements. Cut some of my own infantry. They fired their volley and then retreated. Advance slowly and with caution. Through the woods. Get my great ears to move because they're already behind. Maybe pack my howitzers up and get them to push up as well. My artillery can fire till the cows come home. Bingo. Chamai line. There we go, we've pushed off first few elements. I see you, cavalry. So we're starting to push off the first wave. So 
Oh no! Run, Mr. Farber, run! Push neck horse! Not Mr. Farber! Good, he's at the, he's at the head of the column, retreating. Back you go, you devils! Oh, you can't actually... Val Dragoons fall back. Oh, they're wavering anyway. Oh yeah, they're, they're done for. Two cavalry units. Balthazar Far Reason gets stuck in trying to attack the tyrannical enemy general. The Grenadiers are going to open fire against the Native American warriors. The cavalry on the left pull back. Okay, draw back my line. The Yemen charge the bowmen, because they're a bit exposed there. Let's consolidate our position. Push up my dragoons to attack the bowmen. No, cavalry, come back. The warriors are coming in. Our artillery to selectively engage maybe all of you actually to engage the tribal gunners our dragoons have come back excellent that's a bow unit shattered and the melee line is pushing towards our line Get out of here, don't engage the warriors on foot. Unlimber the howitzers. Can you men jump into the back of this engagement as well? Grenadiers in. You killed their general. You're still able to open fire. Charging the back of the enemy troops. The Native American warriors are wavering. Just charge onward into this unit, lest they pin you down. Quick climb area and backed right there. Okay, commit the cavalry. Shatter them just to make sure. Push my infantry line up. Because this section is looking a bit dodgy. You men get around the rear. For all of you guys, get over here. You men bayonet charge the warriors in the flank. Let's roll this up. You men engage that warrior society. You guys, you just have to hold. Hold until relieved. To these men. 
push up to form a new front line against the next wave. Yeah, you men just rush over for the engagement. Charge the bowmen. Push you men in. Push the marines in against the chief's bodyguard. <laughs> My area of that quick line just quick lined a bunch of new guys. All of you men, get over here to help. To help relieve these poor devils. Come on, 29th. Charge! There we go. You men have done stupendously. You can walk to your next objective. Smashed by our cavalry. How about you? The chief is under considerable distress. Did we get to come, sir? We've got Donna Kona. And that's to come, sir, is going to get away. My light cavalry cut him off. Then charge these bowmen. There they go as well. Such slaughter. My Indian mercenaries also got in. Well, that's another great victory on the road to world domination. That's right, you better run. Yes, sir. I mean, you might just auto this last engagement. Jonas Frankfurter. Just to clean them up. My lord. Make sure everyone that needs to replenish is replenishing. Then Balthazar Father can join the push into the Cherokee territory from the south. You guys are going to push in from the north. A couple of armies are going to push around to Michigan. Maybe you as well? Yeah, why not? Upgrade this. Upgrade the roads. We've got a new town. Oh no, we've done that. We've done that. We've done all these mostly. Yeah. Okay. In turn. All my armies march onwards. It's gonna take a few turns to get up to up to Yankton, but we will get there. Raid as much as you like. You you chaps the definition of fiddling while Rome burns. You will continue to raid and cause trouble while your empires collapse and are destroyed. It's no good. No good at all. My lord. You're, not You're not interrupted. So let's see if I can get someone else within range. You're the closest. Not that I foresee the need for reinforcements. I mean, we can effectively ignore that Iroquois army because they are not going to be a consideration in the near future. Good, good, good. Okay. So, yeah, we're still going to siege Savannah. That itself we're not fussed about. Oh my god, they've got no one here at Cherokee, the Cherokee Territory. Right to the 
So if you wanted to, we could probably blitz it all right now. But I'm not really that... We can take a turn, that's okay. Mass. Get everyone up here. Couple of little upgrades. Okay, but let's... <laughs> Handsome Lake. Sorry, Handsome Lake. You're ours now. They got one unit coming in to reinforce. But I think we're going to have the same slaughter as we have done in the last couple of battles. And it's all going to come down to the Plains Nation's peoples. Oh, missed it. Artillery. Uh, how it says push up close. Okay, so we're going to have one force push around one side of the camp, one force push around the other side of the camp with your own cavalry contingents. And Mr. Heinemann is going to get involved. So the main focus is just to get around the camp. Well, the first focus is just to get around the camp. Artillery will do what artillery does. Try and hobble their cavalry. It's the cavalry that slows us down. I mean, they might probably in there, but the native troops can hide almost anywhere. Oh, there they are. <laughs> See all these dead bodies? Medicine men. Drop some quick line of shots just to attack. Oh, there's someone there then. Hidden. Cavalry smash! There's a unit of warriors in here, so get the charge off on them first. Get him, Curacier. Fire at will is active. No, General, keep running. You're going to have to charge because you're shooting at something. So that's the reason why I sent my heavy cavalry up there was the anticipation that something else will be up there. Get my marines into this action here. No! Oh, Mr. Heinemann. He had a good run, but he did get bogged down and pulled from the saddle. Shattered. Okay, chased on that warrior society unit to make sure they are gone. The marines are clearing out the medicine men, dragoons. Go after that unit. Push forward, men. No, 
wrong unit. Okay, they are shattered. Okay, you can... You go some fire it will on. Now, you know what? Screw it. Fusiliers are gonna... They're gonna have some... Love, too. New men push forward like so. What's their reinforcements coming in? So you guys charge to break the enemy sooner rather than later. Let's bring some marines over. Oh, climb is dangerous. Charge in. We're all starting to get a bit bogged down here, so you are also going to charge in. Okay, howitzers that are currently round shotting. Jump bodyguards to attack the warriors. Without your commander, you're useless. My cavalry now doing the behaviour I hate. They're running away from what I want to actually attack. Get my grenadiers in to help the melee combat. Charge! Ceasefire. Oh, a lot of running. I wonder how quickly it takes for you guys to start wavering. How long it takes for you to start, start wavering. Hey, my general actually beat that unit. My general's unit beat him, that is. Not my general. He's fallen. Unless he is medically fit, he is no longer a member of our faction. God bless him. He's been around for a while. Maybe he is only wounded. Maybe he will be recovered from the field of battle. No, he is gone. Well, let's pick a unit from a marine unit. There we go. Karl Stahl. Seaman. I mean, I'm going to build these ports, but I'm not going to upgrade them really. And probably... It's going to be it as far as the economy development is concerned. So much stuff. Eugene Heinemann was blocked. No longer. Or he does not exist. I want my agents to move up to here as well. It's not a qu it's not a case of waiting for anyone to get there or to mass my armies there. It's just whoever gets there first gets to attack. That is the simple outcome. So we're still sieging Savannah because they're going to have to attack us. Mwah. I mean, look, this is this is damn. Well, I may as well attack, because uh, same thing is going to happen if I don't. They're going to siege us, and we're going to have to fight it anyway. But yeah, Cherokee, they may elect to not defend their cities and push into my territory and raid, which would be a gross mistake. So beautiful. Interesting position up on that hill, but I like this rise back here, really. A lot of artillery. Although, actually, because my infantry count is quite is relatively low, I might actually want to uh, not, not dig in exactly, but not go too crazy and warming forwards I 
my artillery go to work on them. We're engaging them at maximum range. Let's speed up time because it's just going to be lots of. Sh oh god, that's a lot of shells. And my howitzers can now engage the mounted tribal gunners. Oh no, they're choosing to engage the general. My foot artillery can, but my howitzers should just engage. And this is the thing being entirely defensive, they will, it will suddenly a massive a massive number of Cherokee are just suddenly gonna pop up somewhere. No, I'm not close enough to provoke our fire. You can hear them. Oh, there they there they are. The howitzers drop defensive quick climb. Light cavalry sharpshooters get the bowmen. The warrior managed to make a native warrior unit shatter. Go on, get get to my line. My Gurkhas want to say hello. Shattered, broken. So maybe let's not go too mad in pushing up. Shattered, shattered, yeah. Just broken. Horse guards, charge the warriors. Oh, they're taking a volley from the 27 foot guards. Oh god. Charge on. Focus on the native warriors first. Yeah, heavy cavalry's dealt with them. Are they bowmen? No, they're native warriors. Oh, it's, this is feels mean. They got bowmen engaging our cavalry. Push right up to them. All my artillery shoot at that bowman. It's not personal, I swear. Uh, lifeguard, get up there and help the general. Gurkhas haven't really got a look in. Ceasefire artillery, just ceasefire the howitzers. You guys are wavering already. There goes the bowman. Yeah. Go on, Gurkhas. Get in against the chief's bodyguard if you can within the time. Yeah, my lifeguards are in against the medicine men. Find him. Find him. Find the commander and kill him. Got him. Okay. Oh, Bowman have come back. Oh no, they haven't come back. They've just not been killed.
push forward, men. Chased away one bow unit, we obliterated another with artillery fire. Yeah, you better run, streaming off into the hills. They're just out of here. Savannah has been taken. Blap. Recover, upgrade the plantation, upgrade the roads, keep this cross-country infrastructure up to top. Quality. Good, 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 good. Yeah, yeah. See, I could attack, but eh. let's give them a turn just to sort out what they're doing. So we're going to fight. Let's do a good fight. Sigismund, on to the Black Hills with you also. In turn. Plains nations. They demand. They demand half a million. And they'll become my protectorate. I mean, I could definitely pay it, but I'm not gonna. Yeah, so they see my cities are not currently protected. And they've decided, you know what, we're gonna have some of them. And that's not gonna work, because their cities are now both unprotected. And they are doomed. But oh, look, they're looking at Charleston going, ooh, Charleston... We could take Charleston, you know. And I'm there going, yeah, but look at those! <laughs> Demand the surrender of Pelico. You men, Joseph Ederberg, we will not demand the surrender of Chikasa. We will go for it, because it's their last city. And that's some really weird AI behaviour. Sometimes their determination to screw over the human player works against them just as it did here uh, they had no reason to i mean i suppose they might do the whole if we take that city you know, we're definitely gonna lose our cities let's maybe push somewhere else and take them but that calculation is heavily dependent on my ability to come in and take their cities if they had maybe two or three turns i physically couldn't get there in time but as it is i definitely can get there in time so much so my artillery is not even going to get involved battle line is going to melee attack. You men are all fire it will off. Push together like you know, like a classic Rome Total War style. We're gonna to advance together and just bayonet charge them because most of their units are just basic arm tribesmen, garrison native warriors. It's no, it's no good. And what would be the point in using my artillery? Cavalry is different. Just give people orders just to charge. Cavalry go for that arm tribesman unit. General at the front. Look at this poor tribesman unit. Lifeguards, grenadiers. Right, immediately broken. Get stuck in. You want to fight with? You want a melee fight? We'll give you a melee fight, all right. <laughs> you guys going all oh, nuts? That's not good. I mean, that's pretty bad. Eh? Oh, I did get it good. <laughs> Look 
who's gone alive. So because the Cherokee abandoned their cities, they're now dead. So are you, are you even worried about if we would overrun? And the overrunning was chiefly to do with beating the Cherokee, but you know, apparently they are not interested in doing things like that. They'd much rather... They'd much rather surrender to our will. Very well. It all comes down to the Plains Nation's peoples. Excellent. Okay, then turn. My forces are combining. Oh, this, the, the uh, troops from Santa Fe are going to be the first to engage. Attack! I mean, yeah, just, just, just go for it. There's no point waiting. Although, I don't think... Can you guys get... Ooh, yes! Why not have more support? So, I mean, this unit doesn't... This army doesn't have any uh, quick climb support in emergencies. So, just in case things go horribly wrong at the last minute, let's make sure we uh, stack the deck in our favour. Right, 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 right. Cold morning. Death comes to the native troops who, the natives who have lived peacefully in the interior of the US for a very long time. However, their doom is upon them. I mean, my there's a Desert warriors are likely very unhappy. Keep my chevalier together. Push forward, men. I mean, unsurprisingly, our artillery is focusing on their cavalry because it's the only thing we can see. Make sure my chevalier are in position because if they get within musket range, they're going to get shot. Might even push you guys upwards a little bit. Forwards. Got our first cavalry off. Oop, some infantry is exposed. The one gunner aim at that tribal unit. Mounted tribal unit. One gunner aim at that tribal mounted unit. Society is shifting. Okay, here's their force. They're being picked off. Company cavalry, go towards the back, towards the chief's bodyguard. There's a militia opening up. Cease fire and commit. Company cavalry go for the bowmen. Just about shattering because we are expecting 
reinforcements. As my Gorkas, they are redeploying. Pull back, damn it! Run! Go for the centre. That's where the that's where the bulk of the enemy strength is. There's the mounted tribal gunners. Let's try go for them with our cavalry. It's American warriors being engaged. As are the bowmen. The U men form up to support that flank. U men push up here. Our native African troops have broken. You men get into the action. Godlieb! To the centre! Our native African infantry and our colonial line infantry have broken. Hey, their reinforcements are coming in from the from the right flank. So my cavalry engage their cavalry, my skirmishers form up. You men charge into the back of the warrior side, so you men go after this unit. Throw your men into the meat grinder. Uh, General, got leave. Stay out of the way. Excellent. You men push up to here. And you men mop up the War Society. Okay, where's my, my cab cab? Shattered, 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 shattered. Those are my guys, they are shattered. Nice. Could play stakes, but I'm not gonna. Let's get my cavalry over here because these are bowmen. Yes, they are bowmen. We can push those native lancers back. Nice. Then we can storm our infantry forward and box them in. my cavalry can deal with the bowmen which they most surely can you know what I mean sending you men forward to hold the line artillery just attack ground generally in the area Pursue the bowmen. Yeah, here come our reinforcements. Keep charging. Swarm. My line between might not actually get a look in. Pull them back. Company cavalry. My native African troops are not going to like this either. But 
get around the flank. So they're gonna be happy at that this flank charge. Very unhappy. Roll on into the rest of them. There's only the gunners left. Charge! Good work. <laughs> Tear down their guns. Nice. Bit of friendly fire. Friendly fire never hurt anyone. Ah, oh, who's that back here? How about base? Okay, let's speed up time. So they're a fresh unit, they're not a unit that's broken before. I'm sure my chevalier a fire while off. Aha! These are leftovers from the first army. Yes, more cavalry, please. The two generals are engaging the tribesmen. A new man over here as well. Just, just in case. I was about to say, you know what? My generals are going to die, aren't they? Sure enough. Stay on the move. Concerned, but recent, yeah, maybe pull back. You men halt. Reload your carbines. No, you're not going to fire in time. Run. Now the colonial light in the combined with my chevalier. Got leave. Does it got leave the one that died? Yeah, he got leave died. Rest in peace, Gottlieb. Charge the bowmen. Chevalier, don't shoot. Let's go and get him. Justice for Gottlieb. Send in the Gurkhas. Send in the other general. Yes! And there we go. We're going to slaughter a few with my other general who's in command of the army. Good work. <laughs> Let's see if Golib's actually dead or if he's just a little bit peaky. No, he's dead, dead. And there we go. That is world domination with Bavaria completed. And as every territory in the Americas is taken, every territory in India is ours, every territory in Europe. It's so beautiful. It's a Bavarian world. And then let's have a look at our income. So earning about 
four, well, 470,000 in tax. My army hoovers up about a half of it. I'm getting a little bit of... No, I guess that's just from... That's just bonuses. There's no one to raid because there is no trade. I've got loads of stuff. But I'm like... Oh, ivories with 134 gold a unit. And I'm not trading any of it. Nice. So then lists my most profitable region. It is Paris. Growing at 144 turn. Uh, Hindustan is my next most profitable by spec. Yeah, because I'm exempting it from tax, growth is really high. So over a few turns, it would have boosted a lot more than that. Uh, London is third. It's growing at 140 a turn. But yeah, I think Paris is... Paris is always going to be a really good region because it's got so many towns. But yeah, 35,000 overall turn coming from there. My poorest region... Maryland, because Maryland doesn't have Baltimore's not developed. It will develop next turn. I don't think Maryland develops a port, because this is lose for Philadelphia. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this campaign. It's taken a long time, but these world dominations usually do. And at the same time as this video goes up, we will all be posting a faction vote. I'm not going to go into it um here but uh, the rules will be the, the it'll all be explained in the video so go over there make sure you vote and thanks for watching guys uh <laughs> see you in the next campaign cheers everyone